Good evening from Joburg TV News. I'm Umim Lambo with your evening bulletin. Kruger's dope killers to spend life behind bars. Bumalanga Premier to lead march against killing of people living with albinism. Accountability now calls Jiba's return to NPA disastrous. The three Kruger's Dope killers, calling themselves chosen by God, have been sentenced. The three were found guilty in 32 counts, including 11 murders they committed between 2012 and 2016. Cecilia Stain has been sentenced to at least 30 life sentences, Valentine to at least 8 life sentences, and Marcel Stain to at least 7 life sentences. Mpumalanga Premier Rifilwe Mtsweni Tsipani led a march against killing of people living with albinism at the High Court Division, sitting in Middleburg today. A traditional healer, Togazani Msibi, and three other facing kidnapping and murder charges of Gabsile Shabani and her one-year-old cousin, Gosiko Nangwenya, who was living with albinism. Msibi, who is believed to be the mastermind and his three co-accused, allegedly kidnapped the two, the two children at their home in January 2018 at Vosman in Emalatheni. Accountability now says the return of Nom Tobochiba to the NPA could be disastrous for the institution. Tomorrow, the Portfolio Committee on Justice will kick off the process to remove her from office alongside fellow director Lawrence Mkhwebi. But Jiba wants to stop the parliamentary process pending the outcome of a court review application to set aside the, Mkhobo, the Mkhoro report, which is a deviation tactic according to Accountability Now. We now take a look at your traffic and weather update. Taking a look at our roads this evening, in Santon on Ravonia Road, there's a police checkpoint near 5th Street, expect delays. In City Deep on Hover Road, there's an obstruction through City Deep, expect delays. In Buckley on the N3, there's a stationary vehicle at Buckley Interchange, expect delays. Having a look at our weather this evening, Johannesburg is at 21 degrees Celsius, Randburg is at 22 degrees Celsius, and Santon is at 22 degrees Celsius. Back to the news desk. That's it from the team and myself. Goodbye.